Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky. And today I'm doing a series, an episode from a series that I usually do uh, over on my Patreon. It's called Inspiration from a Picture Book. But I wanted to do an episode over here because I think this book is a really great one to add to the library at the moment with everything that's going on in the world. Uh, so in this series, I find a picture book that I love and I use it as inspiration usually for an art journal page. And the book that we're using today is called Here We Are by Oliver Jeffers, who is without a doubt one of my favourite uh, children's authors, illustrators of all time. And the page that I loved the most was this one. And it was talking about how people come in all different shapes and sizes. And um, I just, I love the illustration, but I also loved the way that it showed so many people on the same page. Um, from different backgrounds and with everything that's going on in the world at the moment I've been having a bit of a look at what I can do in my own home to uh, increase the kids exposure to diversity and just to spark some conversations um, with them about that kind of thing. So I will talk about that a little bit more as well as um, some other books that I've bought recently and for today, I am working on this back page in my junk journal. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is use some white gesso because I knew I wanted to use watercolour today and this vintage book paper was definitely not going to appreciate the watercolour. Uh, so I'm just adding some gesso and then I also uh, will add some to that other side of the page in a little while just because it has a bit of ageing and yellowing to it. I wanted to do the gesso quite thin so that you could still see uh, the things underneath. And then I wanted to do some sort of circle and this was the best way that I could think of. I had a bowl with some embellies in it and a hot pink pencil, uh, but it was a bit too bumpy. So I grabbed my double-sided tape and used it as a template for a rough circle shape. It didn't need to be perfect. And by making it a bit doodly, it increases the need for it not to be perfect. So while I'm sticking down these beautiful stickers uh, that I found in my stash, I wanted to talk to you about some of the books uh, that I recently got. So I, I had quite a few picture books uh, in our collection that had people from different backgrounds. Um, and I think a lot of that is because I used to be a primary school teacher and I love picture books. I, I have a few too many picture books, some may say. Uh, but I went through the ones that were Archie's favourites at the moment. And a lot of them either had, I tried to separate them into three categories. So either books that had uh, non-humans as the main topic. So these are books like, you know, dinosaurs or... Um, my first words like you know animals or anything that didn't have a human uh, main character and then I separated them into uh, mainly white characters and then more diverse um, characters inside the books and I was happy to see that I had a few but I still felt like I could add and there were a few little gaps um, and especially with Archie's interests at the moment I wanted to include some books about different countries and uh, the fact that people sometimes move from one country to another as well. Uh, here in Australia, we're very multicultural. The, the areas, because Australia is so large, um, there's different areas in Australia that are more multicultural than others. And uh, I live on a coastal town that's I would say not as multicultural as Sydney uh, and so I wanted to make sure that Arch had that exposure to people with different skin skin colours and hair types and um, even language backgrounds. They do quite a little bit at childcare um, especially with the Indigenous Australians. They have um, a group that come in and show uh, Aboriginal artefacts and tell Dreamtime stories, which I absolutely love for him. Uh, and there are a few more Indigenous books that I would like to add to the collection as well. Um, but some of the ones that I have found, I'll put a little picture up if I can find them. 
And I am going a bit off topic here, but if there's any questions about the process, let me know. I will go in and out between the process and um, a bit of a chatty video today. Uh, so the first one that I got is called Welcome to Our World. And this is probably one of my favorite ones. It is, it says a celebration of children everywhere. And the thing that I loved most about this is, yes, it's a, it's a very complex book for Archie definitely wouldn't be able to read it himself anytime soon but it goes through different uh, aspects of life so how to say hello or um, how different cultures get dressed for school um, one that I found really interesting was what happens when you lose a tooth uh, because there are different I had no idea there are different of course I should have had an idea but I didn't uh, but there are different traditions when you lose a tooth in different countries or different cultures and it's just a great book um, to show lots of different cultures but at a child's perspective so that was that's one of my favorites that I found uh, another one that I found is called I'm Australian Too by Mem Fox and I thought this was a really great layout uh, it touches on people coming to Australia from other countries and why they may have come here um, and it also touches on refugees a little bit here as well uh, so that's a great read and Archie's become very fascinated with Australia and um, earth and where he lives and his suburb and so I think that will be a, a fun one to read with him and kind of have a bit of a, a chat about um, people that we know that are from different countries or different cultural backgrounds. Another one that I found, um, oh, I should add here, back to the video for a second. So this quote is actually from the author's father. And I just thought that it was just a great quote. It really just spoke to me. Um, and at the moment here, the, the injustices in our um, society are just being really put in the spotlight and it's fantastic to see changes actually being made. Um, and I thought that this quote really, it just spoke to me at this time, um, saying that we do need to have respect and consideration and tolerance um, for everyone. And if we do see an injustice, we need to do something about it. Um, so another book that I found was called Around the World in 80 Tales and I noticed that there was a bit of a gap in our picture books that there I didn't have many um, traditional stories from other um, cultures and I had quite a few fairy tales but in the traditional sense of you know Little Red Riding Hood and um, Cinderella and Hansel and Gretel and that type of thing but this book goes through, um, it says, exploring 80 different cultures through retellings of traditional tales. And it's a really nice thick one. So that would be a great bedtime story to pick a story a night and read it. Uh, another one that, that I found was really sweet called Sophia Sparks. And I really liked that this book was all about teamwork and um, that you are not the it's all about this girl and she loses her bow and she feels like once she's lost her bow she has no um she's not good enough to come up with the ideas that she usually does because of her bow and um yeah so it's it's just a nice book to to show that you are good enough no matter what you wear no matter where you're from um and i look forward to to reading that with arch and arch often steals my hair bows so i, I think he will like the little bow that you get along with that um, the video is coming to an end, so I have to talk really quickly. Uh, the next one I love, I have the boys version of this. Uh, so it's called Girls Are Pretty by Susan Hoffman. And it's great because it's not talking in the traditional sense of the word pretty. Uh, and it's a flap out book. So it's like girls are pretty funny. Girls are pretty bold. And I love that the different illustrations in the book and that it um, challenges the traditional sense that the girls have to be just pretty. Uh, another one that I found was by Karamo Brown from Queer Eye called I Am Perfectly Designed. Uh, I did a little Insta post on this the other day, um, which Archie loved this story and um, 
talking about how you are perfectly designed how you are. You don't, um, and just celebrating people's individuality and being you and not trying to be something that you're not. Um, so that's the end of this video. I've still got a couple more books, so I might do another one of these another time and maybe choose one of these to do another inspiration from a picture book over here on YouTube. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, maybe have a look and see if there's any books that you would like to include in your own home library um, because there's there's so many brilliant illustrators and authors out there who, um, who can really give a different perspective um, for our children to read. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.